Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, are you interested in listening to some a very short topic, which I will present live, uh, maybe uh, once a week or twice a week, uh, regarding Internet of Things? Uh, if you like this idea, then uh, click like and maybe you can share it later. Uh, one of the most important things nowadays is that uh, whenever I go everywhere, people will ask me what exactly is Internet of Things. Uh, people have been talking about this, but uh, everyone have different ideas, you know, uh, what exactly is Internet of Things. Everyone wants to talk about that, this topic, but it seems that people get more and more confused. Uh, they would love to implement something on Internet of Things, but they don't know what exactly it is. So let me share with you maybe a few slides uh, talking about uh, the definition of Internet of Things and what comprise of Internet of Things. There are a few things. Uh, there are very good slides talking about this. Uh, the first thing that you need to see is that Internet of Things require, these devices require sensors and probably actuators. Actuators the one that you control it back. Uh, you remember the, the how many sensors that you have? Six sense or five sense? The, the, the sense of sight, you know, here you feel it, you know, and all that. Uh, it can be translated into something digital. So when you digitalize your sense, uh, senses, it becomes something like, you know, vision your sense of uh, sight, you become a vision, your camera, uh, the acceleration, uh, the magnetic field, the levels of the leakage or the force, the flow of the water, the what kind of gas, these are the sensors that you can understand and you know, show the levels of the vibration, the sound, humidity, temperature, the motion, velocity and position and all that, proximity. Uh, the best thing about sensors is that they can translate into something which is, can be quantifiable. Uh, for example, human might say, I'm, I feel hot, but they don't really know how hot it is, what's the temperature. So if you use a temperature sensor, it tells you exactly what the temperature is. Maybe it's around 30 degrees Celsius and all that. So that's what you need. So devices, electronic devices which have embedded sensors is, is important. That's one of the key elements. Secondly, you require connectivity. Uh, there must be a way for you to connect to the internet. Uh, there are many technologies that you can use, either from you know a, a personal area network, which is a body area network. You have a network within your clothing, for example. You have local area network, which normally uh, technologies like Wi-Fi, metropolitan, and, and uh, the, the largest scale coverage that you can cover is a wide area network. So various technologies are meant for different kind of coverage and speed. So if you can look here, you know, sometimes you just use RFID, NFC, six log pen for coverage which is quite low. As the moment you want to go for 100 meters or 500 meters, you can even use Wi-Fi. Or you want to go further up, you can use dash cam, WiMAX, you can go to five to 10 kilometers away. But if you want to have a very wide area network that covers the whole country, you can use satellite. So connectivity is not necessarily one form of technology, connectivity technology, you can use many others. The third thing is that people and processes. This is important. Uh, I would combine these two things called applications. You know, uh, the data you have collected from the sensors uh, to a, uh, you know, something that you can analyze it. You want to do something which is useful about the data. You want to transform the data from uh, you know uh, uh, the bits and the bytes into something more uh, related to information you want to know the who what why uh, who what who who what and where for example and then you want to transform the information into something about knowledge you know you want to know more about that and uh, that's the ultimate value of the whole solution so a lot of applications are being uh, deployed in many areas which require uh, interaction between uh, people and processes. Uh, with IoT, you can reduce a lengthy process into a shorter one. Uh, people can make decisions much faster. So, for example, in CRM, you will understand how people behave in terms of their purchasing power. Uh, you can look at the remote monitoring of your assets, you know, vehicles, uh, items that you purchase or you want to track. 
you can control and automate your remote devices for metering for example supply chain management you understand you know from the factory to the uh, to the house or to, to uh, you know to the different places you want to track every part of the supply chain you can reduce consumption of like, your energy by understanding uh, how much that you use and all that so a lot of this thing requires an applications that look into your data that you've collected that's why people call big data but sometimes data alone cannot comes from a single source to make a decision proper decision you need you require a lot of other data heterogeneous data so uh, these are the basically three things you need to remember uh, an IT device requires to have sensors built in uh, some intelligence within that you need to have connectivity and then the applications uh, and a good example nowadays is a smartphone it has uh, sensors built in into that GPS camera motion accelerator and all that it has connectivity using 3G or whatever then it has an application either the application resides in the smartphone itself or the cloud so uh, Waze is a good example of IoT where people use a smartphone as their IoT device to track and uh, understand the congestion issues uh, there are many others even drones nowadays drones have sensors that detects uh, the, their, their presence and their location where they are and they have connectivity for you to communicate with the people at the ground and they have applications that control the the whole uh, plight so that's it guys that's for my first uh, live stream on uh, internet of things so if you like this uh, please comment and i'll make another video regarding other topics thank you bye